Yep, it's Coach DP. Here to help you out today, man. Super excited, y'all. Um, first off, I want to say, you know, to any coach or just a leader in general, if you have a team, if you have employees, like, uh, I really believe that this can really help you, right? Because um, today we're talking about the winning mentality, and I'm coming straight out of my notes. These are things that I've written down um, as we build a great program here at Rose Holman Institute of Technology. Um, but remember, it's not really about like always talking about winning. OK, but this is a mentality that will help you to become successful um, that we have implemented. And we, we know that it works because it gets results. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to give you four major things. All right. But before we even get into the things, I want you to understand that I use a lot of biblical principles. OK, so a lot of things that I teach, a lot of things that I talk about, they come straight from the Bible. Um, because I do believe in the word of God. I do believe in Jesus Christ. And I do believe that he's the reason for any season. OK. All right. So with that being said, the first thing that you want to do to build a winning mentality, right, is to have constant communication with God. OK. Now, I know you may be thinking, I didn't come on here for some spiritual message or for you to be talking about Jesus. Uh, but to be honest, we don't know everything. Right. Like, I know when I first became a head coach or even when I just first got into coaching, like my first assistant coaching job, uh, we had practice that day. We had a meeting and we talked about all of the things that we were going to do. And I walked out there. I forgot everything. <laughs> I mean, I forgot like the I forgot the drills. I forgot what we were doing. Like I forgot everything. And I, the fear hit me in an instance. Right. And you may be going through that with your career. You may be thinking you know, hey, now I got this head coaching position or now I'm, I'm at a bigger school, a bigger university, or now I'm a professional coach. And, you know, I don't know if I belong here. And I'm telling you, you do belong there. Right. God always makes a place for us. And that means that God will never leave you nor forsake you. And the forsake part means that he's not going to put you in a place that you're not prepared to be in. But you don't have all the answers. So when you're in constant communication with our Lord, he's going to direct your path. Right. And that's something that I do every single day. Like these teachings that I'm giving you, they have come from the Bible. These are things that God has given me and I've been able to to implement. It doesn't always mean you're going to hear a voice from the sky and you're going to be like, hey, God told me to do this. Sometimes it could be your wife. Sometimes it could be your staff members. Sometimes it could be just somebody in the athletic department. Sometimes you can listen to a recording like this. Uh, but the fact of the matter is you have to listen to somebody because they may be bringing you what God wants you to do. OK, so once you get that clear communication between you and God, that's the first step to success with this winning mentality. OK, and then the second point that I want to give you to build the winning mentality is get a connection with each player on your team. OK, when I say a connection, I'm thinking more outside of basketball. Right. Get to know who they are as an individual. Get to know what pushes their buttons, what motivates them, what type of household that they come from. Right. And th this is going to take time. But remember, you have an entire season. Right. A lot of times we try to do things in one or two days. Like You got an entire season. This could be, you know, a couple of drive by conversations. Hey, how's the family doing? Hey, how many brothers do you have? Like, you know, you keep asking these these digging questions. You're going to get the responses and you're going to build a better connection. Right. So the first layer of that is to build a better connection with your individual players. The next layer is to build a connection with the team. Right. And this comes from you as a coach, understanding who you're coaching and how they work. And now how do they work as a collective group? Right. This is where you get a feel for if they're stressed out, if they got a lot going on with school, if they if they're overwhelmed with the circumstances of being a student athlete. Like you could get a feel when you have a connection with your team. And what this feel does is it gives you the authority to make the adjustments. Right. The feel means nothing if you walk in the gym and you know your kids are overwhelmed and you keep throwing them new plays. That means that you didn't make any adjustments. If they're overwhelmed, maybe they need a day off. Maybe they need a pool workout. And I've done this several times because I'm at a high academic institution. So if my kids are not are not feeling like they they getting everything done in class, there's no need for me to push them on the basketball court. 
because that that mindset is going to roll over onto the basketball court. So really getting an understanding of your team gives you way more authority to make the proper adjustments and get more out of the team. And ultimately, that will help you win more games.